Hi, this is Daniel Zani here. Well, basically, um, I'm having a bit of a problem. Um, I've noticed this tends to happen on my um, videos uh, about extraterrestrials and the, um, the, 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 the there are people out there that um, promote um, anti-extraterrestrial gender is what I call it. And... Um, I've also no I've really noticed that when people comment on these specific videos, um, I can't reply. Um, if if I get a notification, I get it like this, um, and there's no reply button. And this is on my own videos, and I feel like I'm personally being gagged in a point where I can't re respond and reply. And um, so you go and you click on that and also when I get the, get the thing in the email um, you see the reply button there and if you actually try and click to reply Hello. Um, there is no no reply thing so I just thumb that down they only give you like a thumb down or a thumb up thing and that is broken, it's not really working. Or oh, did it work? It took me quite a while um, to get that working. Because I disagree Hello. with what there. Greetings, greetings from the friends. I disagree with the reply, so I clicked them down. But see, it didn't register, so it's broken. So, um, there we go. And, um, and then there's another way where you go to the Creator Studio, you go Community and Comments. And you can't reply there as well. So um, I feel that I can only reply this by doing a video response because I have been gagged in the comment section of my own video. Um, and I, it's, it's just really not on. Like I'm uploading videos and I'm having a, a message of what I'm saying um, expressing my thoughts and opinions and people it's mostly people who um, who disagree because of their beliefs um, tend to comment on my videos um, these specific um, extraterrestrial related videos um, there um, there's somebody else replied another video you see there's the reply there over there it, it, it's just non-existent um, yeah there as well the same there's another kind of like nasty person who commented on my channel uh, saying I'm an incredibly stupid cunt so um, there I can't reply to that and obviously this was done two weeks ago and I wouldn't be surprised if it's related to that music video that was blocked worldwide just because of a um, audio not an audio I mean a visual clip I used because it's my own music I play um, I can do my own music on a, a keyboard and I use uh, logic uh, Ignite and sometimes I use GarageBand. Um, GarageBand I tend to just use for mucking around sometimes uh, because I've got a slightly older version of Logic. Um, he, certain functions don't work, but when I run got a GarageBand in the background, they tend to work. It's crazy, um, but um, you yeah, certain instruments like mainly the um, the uh, choir voices when you press the keys on the keyboard it does does that uh, sort of thing so now i'm going to respond to this um comment uh by christina hartley uh, she says the allies of humanity is clearly say the thing as it is i disagree because basically allies of humanity is written by a man um, who basically 
got, got information from Earth people um, who part who are part of the cult or organization. Uh, it's actually allies of humanity is actually sort of like a religious cult. Um, it's basically um, we can actually can say it's the opposite of uh, the Raelian movement, which I actually support. The reason why I support the Raelian movement is because they're the only ones that uh, promote peace, love, happiness, sensuality, and they have a positive outlook of the extraterrestrials because um, they got uh, information from some extraterrestrials about the extraterrestrials that see the life on the planet. And there's actually points of evidence that um, proves this with, the, with that um, seed. Um, I've actually sort of done a video with that. Um, it's in my thing... Uh, if I go to um, should just create a studio video manager, just open a new tab, and um, there we go. I've, I've made it very brief in this one. Hello oh, there. Yeah. I, have I have put. So if you sources, if I kind of like, well, cannot prove. Not just of humanity only according to an Anunnaki ancient alien theory, but all fauna and flora, including the terraforming of Earth from a dead planet into a living planet. See that there? This technology is the, um, the nano seed. It has all the, uh, the, um, the life organic materials um, to kickstart life on the planet. So, um, so you got some uh, evidence there. It's um, you can actually go and look for it. Um, I might have provided the links. Um, yeah, there's there's one link that I um, provided. Um, there we go. And if you Google search this, you'll see there's a variety of sites, pages, and write-ups in the news articles about this. Um, so basically, yeah, that's what I say. Um, then she says, it resonates with my deeper knowledge. Um, the reason, well, the thing is, she's only, I would say it resonates with your belief. You don't really have knowledge about extraterrestrials. You only have a belief because you, f you follow and agree with a book. Uh, that is, and, and you accept it on, on the pure basis of faith. Um, trusting that Marshall, whatever, it, um, the leader of the um, Allies of Humanity group, um, it, um, group C. So you basically follow and agree on the basis of faith. And I would say that belief, uh, knowledge is basically something. Knowledge is different from belief. Knowledge is. When you've experienced something yourself personally, um, and even though you're still in the process of trying to explain it or whatever, but uh, but you or you manage to understand it, um, that's what knowledge is. It's something that you've experienced in your own life, and you can actually wear the t-shirt. Um, that is what knowledge is, um, basically. Um, and I would say you're actually, it re resonates with your beliefs, not knowledge. It just brings wisdom and understanding about the extraterrestrials. And then she says it brings wisdom and understanding about extraterrestrial, uninvited, secretive presidents and about their agenda. Basically, that book doesn't actually have any wisdom Um because most of the stuff is written in their book is based on stories um, that people have have basically mentioned to make profit, and that's called sensualization. I think uh, I'm getting a bit tongue twisted here. Sensualization. Sensualization. I think that's what it is. Uh, um, 
no, no, it's not, no, no, it's not that. Sensationalism is the word, sensationalism. Yes, sensationalism. Sensation is a type of editorial bias in mass media in which the topics and stories and pieces are overhyped to increase the viewership and readership of numbers. Allies of Humanity is sensationalism um, about extraterrestrials. A lot of the stuff mentioned, they get stories from people who've actually made up either wanting more at attention because they never received attention or they do it um, in order to get money and profit. And there's also another possibility is the reason for sensualization is to provide misinformation. So let's have a look at sens sens sensationalism. I always got a bit tongue twisted. Sensationalism. Um, uh, misinformation. Related. It's just mentions in here. So basically, um, it's based focused on profits, money, uh, political corruption. Uh, so basically, uh, yeah, uh, it may include sincere aspects of zealots, doomsayers, or junk science. Um, the politics, economy, um, moralities, morals. So m misinformation and sensationalism are related to each other. Um, so it's not wisdom at all. It's basically sensationalism. And in, in, in to promote, you know, either to make monies, uh, to gain attention, and to provide misinformation. So you've got three things. And it says there are rules in the greater community of words. Apparently, in a galactic society, there is a council, but there are no rules. Um... Things are decided and voted on, not really vote, but discussed, because um, because they're kind of like a, um, evolved above democracy in a sense. Um, uh, rules, there's no rules actually in in a galactic community or um, a, with the um, collaboration of uh, planets. Um, and which is why I came came up because I'm wanting to promote some more freedom, people and ideas for more freedom, um, for Earth people. Um, uh, whereas uh, I've actually rearranged my um, icons here. So if I because I'm actually working this for a new video. Um, Documents. I just I don't really like this, this sort of thing. Um, movie intro rights. I click on that. Uh, open. So I basically drafted a, a bill of rights um, for people to use. It's open source. It's like for the people by the people, and it gives you an idea. There's no government and rules. There. The right not to be governed. There should be no government, rather a carefully tested and elected council of 12 members, palace council of intelligence and conscious beings capable of compassion, understanding, logic to uh, logic and reason to f affiliate the regions of the planet which the diversity culture considered into co culture into consideration to benefit humanity as a whole. 
And the same sort of thing happens with the galaxy. There's um, a carefully tested and elected 12 planet, um, not planets, I mean members uh, of a count of the Galactic Council. And it's the same sort of thing. Um, and it works better than actually government rules and laws and things like that because um, everybody is actually has a say and an opinion and it gets discussed, analysed and see whether it is authentic or not. Um, then um, she goes on saying no race can come just come here and decide and how we want to gauge and certainly not with ET race. See the thing there again the word races are used um, advanced beings don't actually see each other in races they see each other as conscious beings and they actually see themselves as human beings uh, human being is someone that is, is a being that is humane, capable of compassion, understanding, um, reason, logic, um, uh, and um, having empathy and love. That is what um, uh, a being is all, is all about. And uh, racism is something that is very prone to primitive societies and planets such as Earth where people tend to see because of someone who's got a different skin colour, different way of speaking, different they people tend to look at other people in the form of races, nationalities and things like that. They don't see it's like, oh you're different from a different region from a planet and um there's no countries or anything like that. They just know this different region and everything. And they don't see you as a... They don't segregate themselves because of the physical difference. Because the physical form is just the body. So basically, you can actually transfer your consciousness in another body. Uh, it, it, the, 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 they, they, there's a blur between bodies and... Um, Basically, you can even transfer your consciousness in a, in a body, a robotic body. Does that make you a robot? So that's that's the question that you need to think about. Um, say if you're dying and you and the technology isn't good to actually, they haven't developed cloning technology to make you live on. So the other alternative is to have a robotic body instead of an organic body. Um, because you moved your consciousness into a robotic body, you are, you still, who you are, yeah, your consciousness and memories and everything. Um, does that make you a robot? No. So race, racism is something that is still kind of like the focus on an earth-based uh, or a primitive society such as Earth, as you know. And it just seems to be getting a bit worse now that... Uh, with capitalism increasing, austerity increasing, people getting a bit more aggro against each other, and this is the problem that, uh, like, they, they, for example, um, quite recently, um, some refugees were fleeing for their lives for the from from the countries that were run by a um, Islamic um, uh, forgot theocracy, and. Um, so they basically just because they came from a, a, a they fleeing from an Islamic theocracy, they have been dubbed as immigrants, and they weren't seen as refugees. So because of this whole um, racial segregation thing, not all of them are Islam. Some may be may have different beliefs, and some of them may be atheists. And they're just fleeing because the theocracy does not agree with to what they believe, know, or understand. Um, then it says, um, then she goes on and says, Earth is humanity's heritage from God. First of all, um, obviously, um, you can see this is from a religious 
point of view um, because in the mention of a God. First, the thing is, there is no God. Uh, God simply does not exist. It's something that has been invented, made up because of the poor lack of understanding on how things work, how things are. And science itself is basically um, finding the answers and solutions. Although earth science is behind um, the science of people on other planets, it still follows the same process. And, and as humanity evolves uh, more and more, um, proof and evidence points out that God simply does not exist. And um, <coughs> first of all, um, I think it's ridiculous that people actually believe in um, a God because basically, first of all, um, the religious perspective is a God, they say God is loving and, and answers prayers and all that. Then why are people starving? Why is there so many starving people in Africa? Um, and why are the people dying in wars and they don't want to be involved in wars? Um, that that's the thing, isn't it? If there was if there was a god that existed, um, this god would um not allow this to happen. Innocent people die and everything. Um, this kind of that this reality debunks the whole god thing. Then you go into a uh, more of a an in depth um view on and take on the non-existence of God as when you look at the vastness of space it goes on through to infinity um, and that's why I say it's the infinite um, whether you want to uh, group because no one really no one really knows what, uh, where the universe ends or begins and apparently, um, according to the entomology of the universe, um, universe is infinite. And um, and the thing is, if you want to um, group certain parts of the universe and call it the a universe, uh, being part of a multiverse with the certain groups that you analyze, say, okay, that's a universe. It's still the same sort of thing. That's more of the modern perspective from the, the the older perspective according to the inter entomology. So um, now if such a being existed, how would it be possible that this God being knows the thoughts of every single uh, being? Uh, living on every single planet, on every single solar system, um, right through the infinity of space. It's totally impossible, which basically, it just basically throws the God theory out of the, out of the, out of the, into the dustbin. And then it goes, also another thing is the belief of God was basically, you know, invented uh, because of the lack of understanding. It also became a scapegoat um, to implement, I'd say, Big Brother 1.0 to try and make people conform and obey and follow the system. And um, that's what religion is why religion is promoted as a first priority and much of the laws even still today on this planet um, has has a lot of religious backing for example um, marriage marriage laws um, which is why there's problems with uh, uh, people with same-sex attraction trying to get marriage I personally don't agree with marriage because it's nothing but a legal certificate. It doesn't ex express the love that you have between between each other. It's it's just a, a legal document. It it's bull. 
to be honest, marriage is bull. <sighs> <coughs> then it goes on, then she goes on saying, the, um, I know ETs have the right to be here. Uh, first of all, um, the ETs don't really come here. Um, but first of all, when you think about it, extraterrestrial seeded life here. In what way you uh in what way you believe if you if the if you believe that extraterrestrials see the first um um organic material and then allowed the evolution to happen, or you but uh, agree to the point where extraterrestrials there and they basically assisted or managed the development of life on this planet, um where. And there is points out where the evolution tree, where you get different uh, genes that have not gone through the inheritance of the um, the life tree, but somehow uh, got genetic code from certain branches, um, where the only way to kind of explain that happening is through splicing. Um, so the extraterrestrials, they basically seeded life here, assisted the development of life in the way uh, they wished to allow it to develop. Um, and then finally, contributing their own genetic code into um, human beings, um, which caused a lot of drama on their side. And... Um, um, I've just got like a blank now. Um, contributed to um, they have every right to be here and, and and watch and observe because basically, you can say that the Earth is a a, a laboratory in a sense for the extraterrestrials who um, seeded life here and then um observed and managed the development of life and they have basically protected uh, life from certain things such their voice they, they managed to stop um, certain idiots with the uh, nuclear bombs the whole Rendlesham forest thing basically indicates that um, they were analyzed because um, uh, nuclear warheads were secretly stored in Rendlesham forest and that's where you get the rain from forest incident. Um, despite all the um, sensationalism around it, even the, uh, the the people who were there at the time, a lot of the stuff they um, um, kind of, I don't know, over-exaggerated, but there was something there, and the missiles and that were scanned, there's even the extraterrestrials disabling missiles. And then there's extraterrestrials, um, certain area in Russia when there was an asteroid impact. Uh, the extraterrestrial ship crashed into the asteroid to prevent a vast destruction of some um, forestation um, on about Russia. So <clears throat> there is no evidence at all um, to claim that they do not have a need to come and visit. So, um, but also you do, you also tend to focus on the word race a lot. You know, that's just so old school thinking. It's primitive. It's primitive thinking. When you when you see the different extraterrestrials, and you you tend to see them as races instead of a diversity of individuals, because a lot of them kind of like are, are rather you know mixed up, mixed up like I'd say. The 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 because it's a it's a big galactic community out there, and there's there, some of them actually. Um, get together and that's why race is just something it's a primitive way of thinking uh, it says we were this intervention is not 
Now the thing is, um, there's really no really no intervention at the moment um, at all. Uh, the extraterrestrials see it life, and I've been watching, observing, and then they uh, contribute the genetic codes, and then human beings came about, and um, you know. And human beings came about and they're walking around and they're, they're watching and observing. They just see how stupid Earth people are um, because they're primitive. And um, they've sent people down there to share share a message. And what did they do to them? They, they basically got executed. Uh, so... So basically, it's got to the point where, which is why I agree with the Rayleigh movement, where it's a 50 50 thing um, uh, for, for, for um, um, I'll say, worldwide first contact. It's a 50 50 thing um, with this extraterrestrial embassy thing. It's building the extra, extra, extraterrestrial embassy indicates that human beings are willing to be friendly, uh, welcome the extraterrestrials, and um, and then the then because the, the extraterrestrials already got fifty, they've already completed their half of the um, the the thing. Uh, it's just now Earth people to say, right, we will need to, uh, to allocate a small piece of land. Um, for the extraterrestrials to land and and then have a mutual relationship um, uh, and um, integrate with the, the galactic community and what are you doing is you actually stopping this from happening thus keeping your planet alone and segregated from the rest of the galaxy plus um, keeping the, you're a very own people in the dark ages with the belief of superstitions, gods and your fear of anything different and out of the extraordinary um, as long as religion exists Earth will remain in shit street in the dark age um, and that's the genuine truth Then you go say we the people of Earth don't won't you? Okay. Who the hell gives you the right to speak for the, the whole all the people of Earth? You don't have that right. No one voted you in. Nobody um, gave you test to test your um, intelligence, your intellect, your consciousness. How you are capable of loving, how you are capable of compassion, how capable you are with empathy. You, by this, you're basically saying, hey, the Earth people don't want you here. You're basically talking to, like some, some actually um, Nazi. You sound like a Nazi. So, there we have it. And this is my reply to this comment because YouTube... Um, has somehow not put in the reply option and uh, that's all I have to say much love and namaste